Good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about applying fertilizer. If you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Dennis, guy of all trades. So if you happen to be as lucky as me, your lawn looks absolutely horrible. You have all sorts of weeds dandelions, probably crabgrass, and all sorts of other stuff in here. This is like thistle here, I believe. All right, so this is the product we're gonna be using. This is called Greenview Broadleaf Weed Control Plus Lawn Food. It come in 15,000 square foot and 5,000 square foot bags. If you're unsure of how many square feet you have in your lawn, go check out my video above. All right, so with this product, um, this is a weed and feed. So it does have weed control in it and you can see the active ingredients here. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Um, so you'll see we have 20%, 27% nitrogen, 0% phosphorus, 4% potassium. And on the back of the bag, it's gonna show you all of the weeds that this controls. One of the most important parts here, how much to apply. Now this recommends 2.6 pounds per thousand square feet. So if you know the square footage that you're applying this to, you really need to measure the number of pounds that you're putting into your spreader, right? Now there's a couple different kinds of spreaders. This one is a broadcast spreader. I apologize for it being so dirty. And whoever says that pelletized lime is not dirty, is a liar. Uh, there, there are some actually kind of clean versions of pelletized lime. The one I picked up was very dusty for some reason, but, um, and if you have a smaller yard, you can use one of these Scott's Whiz uh, handheld spreaders. Now, with the spreaders, you have settings on here, and most fertilizer bags will show you on the back, hey, if you're using this particular spreader, use this particular setting on your spreader. This is a Scott Speedy Green, by the way. This is an older one, it doesn't have the edge guard. And I'm gonna show you a trick to actually turn this into like an edge guard kind of spreader. The setting for this guy is up here, you have a handle, and your setting is right here. That setting basically just changes the amount this little chute opens in here next to the agitator. So that's gonna control how much fertilizer goes down on your lawn. Now, if you have a lawn like mine, we just moved into this house, my last lawn was absolutely perfect, and this kills me to see this lawn like this. All right, so if you did watch my other video, you'll see from the other video what we did to come up with the square footage of every area in the yard. And I'm gonna be tackling the front right side of the yard first, so from the driveway all the way over to my property line and from the edge of the house over, I have 6,000 square feet. So using our trusty phone here, we're gonna go 2.6 pounds per square feet, or per thousand square feet, times 6,000 square feet and we're gonna see 15.6 pounds we need to apply. All right, so let's grab a bucket Let's grab a bag of fertilizer and uh, let's drop about 15 and a half pounds in that. All right, so we're at zero Look at that 15.64 all right All right, so we're all loaded up here and one thing I forgot to mention there are um, other types of spreaders besides a broadcast or the handheld there's one called a drop spreader and that's typically used for powdered lime or uh, when you're overseeding your lawn with grass seed. So I'm gonna show you a trick on these older spreaders. If you don't have Scott's edge guard and you're going around and you don't wanna get this fertilizer in your flower beds, you can actually take a piece of cardboard and some clamps and just clamp it to the side like this. It's a nice easy little hack. And when you're pushing it, it'll keep the little granules from flinging off to the right side. And then you just keep this side to your flower beds. What we need to do next here is to set our spreader for the right application rate so we get the certain number of pounds per square feet. This particular spreader, since it's so old, the Speedy Green is not on here, but it's very similar to the Edge Guard, which is setting four. So we're gonna set this to setting four. All right, so we're on eight now. All right, there's seven, six, and there's four. So there's our setting. And what this does is, like I said before, when you pull your handle in here, it basically just allows that chute inside of the hopper of the spreader to not open all the way. It opens only a certain amount predetermined by those numbers. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the outside of the yard, almost like I'm mowing, and I'm just gonna work my way in paths all the way back to the center. We're not gonna like overlap the tires because the broadcast spreader spreads out like probably a couple feet on either side. Look at that little uh, edge guard hack working nice.
we used probably, uh, I don't know, probably a little bit more than half of what we put in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna crisscross the yard on diagonals here just to make sure we have really good coverage. So that's having extra, after you measure it, you know how much you need for the particular area is okay. And I guess the biggest takeaway from this is, right, don't overcomplicate it. It's really simple to do. You can do it. You don't have to pay for someone else to do it. As long as you take the steps that I showed you in the video. One thing, make sure the lawn is moist or wet before you put this down. You can wet it the night before if it's a really warm area that you live in or in the morning. Don't cut the lawn for two days after you put this down, right? And if you do cut it, make sure you have a bagger because if you cut these weeds and have them exhaust out of the side chute of the mower, you're just gonna be spreading weeds around in your lawn. And you don't wanna do that after all this hard work and the amount of money that you spent on the fertilizer. This particular one, you don't need to water in. I think I mentioned that, I don't know. I need coffee. You also want to make sure that you don't apply this within 24 to 48 hours of rain. So definitely check your weather. Make sure it's not going to rain in those 24 to 48 hours. And that goes along with, hey, don't water the lawn, right? It's basically the same thing. All right. And one thing I forgot to mention is after you're done, you probably want to sweep your sidewalks, especially if you have pavers, because the little granules will actually stain um, the concrete or pavers. All right, and that wraps it up for today's video. If you guys ended up on my video out of the thousands of other lawn care videos on YouTube, I appreciate you. Consider hitting like and subscribing. It's free. And uh, if you want to leave, you can. Till next time.